Just do this time out. Just do me in him. Who has a more aura, Shavkat or Ilya? Ilya, dude. Have you seen Ilya's trash talk about Volk? Lights go out in Australia. Come on, bro. Thank you for the two dollars. Okay, hypothetically, could kill Francis. Okay, hypothetically, could Francis KO a gorilla? He could, but I just don't think he would. Thank you for the two dollars. Thank you for the ten dollars. As a great as Volk is, people act like Islam has cleared out his division when he hasn't defended against a lightweight. Also, Habib said Charles wasn't undisputed, but acts like Islam beating Charles absorbs all of his wins. True, true, true. All of a sudden, Oliveira is a great win when Makashev gets it. Soy Habib and Makashev fan base. L L Habib and Makashev. And you know what? Anytime Makashev talks shit about Ilya Tapuria, we got to post gifts of him getting slept because ain't happened to Tapuria yet. Digging the Hagrid from Harry Potter look, bro. Oh, don't be shy. I do remember that. Think Cheeto's daughter has a future doing anything? Chill out, man. Why are you always hating on Dagestani fighters? I'm not hating on them. I'm just hating on the fans that they have. It's the most annoying thing in the world, uh, Dagestani fans, because they aren't even Dagestani. You know? They aren't Dagestani. Some of them are Dagestani and they're fine. Um, but it's literally just a Muslim from California. Like, we're built different. With, like, a muscle tense emoji. And I'm like, dude, you ain't them. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I, I don't, like, that's, that's all it is, basically. And, it, and that annoys the fuck out of me, that they get some kind of fucking complex out of it. Like, yeah, we're dominating the sports. Like, that's not you, little bro. You ain't, that's not you. Khabib's closer to me than he is them. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, seriously. It's just so fucking weird. Um, who and when do you think the first title fight with two Dagestani Muslim fighters will be? I don't know. There's never really more than one in each division, so it's kind of hard to tell. Thank you for the four months of membership. BKFC, maybe we'll see Azamat Mirzakhanov versus uh, Magomed Ankalaev. That could be something that happens. BKFC was talking to Till and got his to his number and then Till backed out. Not surprising. Just heard about it on Ariel. I will be... Stop, drop, shut him down, open up shop. Oh, no, that's how rough riders roll. 30 hours is not dehydrated, Islam bum. Yeah, these guys are literally complaining. Uh, uh, he, uh, he only had a day to rehydrate after draining himself down to fight a smaller fighter. These fucking pussy fucking Makashev fans, honestly. Uh, that's their excuse. <laughs> uh, uh, he could, he could, he could only add on twenty percent extra body weight. Thank you very much for the two dollars. Shed reveal during UFC three hundred. Uh, no, I'm not in a shed, dude. I'm in a house now. You know what I'm saying, Guru? Which urge is stronger for you, eating or tweeting? I haven't tweeted in three days. I don't really give a fuck about tweeting. It's just something to do after the fights. Um, eating is quite an urge. Um, thank you for the two dollars. Which fighter has the worst fanboys slash fan base? Probably the Habibas. The Alex Pereira ones are just gay at this point. <laughs> are they not? Am I wrong or am I right? They are just gay for him. Um, but yeah. <laughs> thank you for the five dollars. Arrow eight ten. Ilya's already champ and said he'll retire in five years. This ain't like Habib. He's also fought in two divisions already, unlike bred, inbred cliff dwellers. Yeah, and he didn't even need to fight in two divisions. He just did it anywhere because he felt like it. You know? Because he fucking felt like it, man. <sighs> Moved up because he felt like it. KO'd a guy in a higher weight class. Um, never pulled out. Never pulled out. Never missed weight or had weight complications. Never lost a round. KO'd Volk. In two rounds, Khabib probably would have tried to win a fucking decision, the pussy, like he did against Ally Quinter. Thank you for the membership, Lil Putana37. Ilya Tapuria got his belt off of Alexander Volkanovsky. Khabib got it off of Ally Quinter on a day's notice. Ilya Tapuria, in his 15th ever fight, beat Alexander Volkanovsky, the GOAT of his division. Khabib was fighting an 0-0 regional bum because he was padding his career for the first five years. Need I go on? Makashev got slept. Ilya Tapiria has never been slept. Ilya's him. 
Ilias him and Habib and Makashev are irrelevant from now on. And if Brian Ortega beats Ilya, I'm going to go and do something I regret. I kind of want Islam to beat Tapuria just for Volk. No, 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 no. You want Tapuria to beat Makashev for Volk. Why are you guys hating on Tapuria, dude? He's perfect. Ilya Tapuria is the perfect catalyst for our Dagestani hatred. Or my Dag... Or I don't have a hatred. I mean, uh, what? <laughs> He's the perfect catalyst for hatred. Why can't we use him? Bandwagon fan. I picked Ilya his whole career. Other than his debut. Because he took it on a week's notice. And I didn't think he'd make weight. Would you rather be gay or of Dagestani heritage? Of Dagestani heritage. Easy. Easy. Thank you for the free New Zealand dollars. Easy. Being Dagestani heritage would be cool as fuck. Imagine you can be like the Chad Dagestani who's actually a fucking G and not some boring little loser. I don't know, dude. I'm going to have to take over the place. That'll be cool. Good hairline. You know what I mean? Literally have a hairline about fucking right there. And not a finger higher. Khabib was actually mid as fuck. No good wins. All right, dude. He had some good wins. <laughs> he had a few good wins. Come on. But the problem is with being Dagestani is every like uh, every few months they kind of make you hang out with a bunch of downies and inbreds. Don't know. I feel like every time there's a Dagestani fighter, it don't take long for them to have a clip of them eat like literally got like a Hasbulla type human on their fucking lap. You know. Uh, this fight is from Dagestan. All right, give it three months. We'll see a fucking Abdu Rozik looking guy on his fucking lap eating dinner with him. You know what I mean? Like, what? where are all these guys coming from? I guess Dagestan with the inbreed and there's loads of them. I've got three hours left on this drive. Keep streaming. Indeed. Indeed. Um, impression of a gay Dagestani coming out after winning the belt. Um... <laughs> I have one thing to say, brother. Alhamdulillah. I am gay, brother. <laughs> he gets fucking zapped by lightning. <laughs> and the Muslims get proven right on world stage. <laughs> Straight away, he just seizes up. Uh, thank you for the $2. Imagine you were Dagestani. You could be king of the daggers. Okay. Thank you for the $5. Mark my words. Habib will be knocked out by an enraged bum after making him do push-ups for money. True. Tarnishing his legacy forever. Let's not forget Habib made a fucking homeless guy do push-ups for money and laughed at him while he did it as well. Let's not forget Mr. Humble, huh? Mr. Fucking Humble. I actually think that's based as fuck, though. <laughs> to be honest with you, I completely disagree. It's hard what how choosing what to insult Habib on because most of it is fucking based as fuck. <laughs> Get a fucking job, pal. That was what Habib said to the homeless guy. You're fucking disgusting. Get a job, pal. And he killed his dog, apparently. Stabbed him. Madness. Get a fucking job, pal. Hope you feel better soon. Much love, brother. Thank you. Realize, realize lies. Thank you very much for the five dollars. Appreciate that, brother. Impression of gay John Jones meeting Sus McGregor. No. <laughs> You're hilarious. That's how John Jones sounds when he drinks a bit. May. Look at that fucking link for 